at Xbox's recent E3 conference, Game Pass day one releases was truly the star of the show, and it's all about to start kicking off very soon. With turn-based RPGs, action RPGs, tactical shooters, roguelites, platformers, and more, all coming out in the next couple of months, I thought it was about time we covered all of these games so you can pre-install them ready for launch. There are some super exciting games in this list, so you are really not going to want to miss it. But before we get kicked off with today's video, I would love for you to hit the like and subscribe buttons and turn on notifications so you know exactly when I upload a video. This channel is all about positive Xbox content and helping you find great games on Xbox Game Pass. So if you do enjoy what I do here, your support would really mean the world to me. All right, let's get into today's video. Developed by Columbian Studios, Dreams Uncorporated, and SYCK, and published by Modus Games, Chris Tales is a unique take on the JRPG where you use time as a gameplay mechanic. Past, present, and future are all on screen at the same time, and you can use your little frog companion, Matthias, to jump into the past or future and help you solve puzzles. You're going to use time in combat to aid your enemies or make them younger, and kind of use that to your advantage. With a gorgeous art style and a lovely color palette, a really interesting looking UI and some very, very nice combat animations, the gameplay is inspired by classic turn-based RPGs like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy, but has of course a unique spin with its time-based mechanics. Check it out in just a week's time on Xbox Game Pass on July the 20th. On July 27th, Flight Simulator finally comes to Xbox consoles. Developed by Asobo Studio and published by Xbox Game Studios, Flight Simulator is the first next-gen only Xbox first-party title. And what else needs to be said about this game? It is the entire planet to explore and a ridiculous amount of detail in the environments and Asobo have done such an incredible job of creating this super, super detailed world with just millions of trees, crazy detail in the landscape, and it's going to look superb on Xbox Series S and X. With new features coming to the Xbox version, like an overhaul tutorial system, a discovery mode tour where you can kind of just sit back and enjoy the flight over some of the planet's most incredible locations, and a flight assistant that can help new players take off, land, and navigate, the first thing I'll be doing is flying over my house, obviously, I'm pretty sure that's what everybody does, when Flight Simulator comes out to next-gen consoles later this month. Developed by Neon Giant and published by Curve Digital, The Ascent is a cyberpunk action RPG with an almost twin-stick shooter vibe and a really cool art style and design, some incredibly detailed environments and beautiful lighting effects. Optimized for Series X with 4K 60 frames per second gameplay, you can play this game single player or in co-op with up to three other friends. And there's an element of verticality to the combat as well. I love the particle effects and the area of effect animations, they just look insane. Can't wait to get stuck into this one. It is a long awaited title and it's coming out at the end of the month on console and PC Game Pass on July 29th. I'm just going to interrupt the middle of this video here to say this next game, Lemnus Gate, which looks incredibly exciting, has been delayed till September 28th. The developers have said their team motto has always been gameplay first and we wouldn't be staying true to ourselves if we didn't take the extra time to get it right. I've left it in the video because it does look super exciting, but if you want to know more about the game, go follow them on Twitter at Rat Loop Canada and stay tuned to the rest of the video to hear about Lemnus Gate and more. Now this one looks super, super exciting. On August 3rd, Lemnus Gate is coming out from Rat Loop Games and published by Frontier Developments. A time looping, time warping strategy FPS, this game just looks incredibly interesting and unique. Set in a universe where the Lemnus project is attempting to use a solar system wide particle accelerator to turn back time 50 years and stop the destruction of Earth, <laughs> that to me is just one of the best sci-fi premises I've heard in a long time. The FPS combat looks really fun with creative weapons and gadgets, 
but the 25 second time loop is really the star of the show in this multiplayer title. With four game modes and both 1v1 or 2v2 options, each game has five 25 second rounds, but each round is the same 25 seconds over and over. You can observe your opponent's rounds with a drone to try and get the tactical advantage over your enemy, and what I think is really exciting is the ability to play this game offline in couch co-op mode where you can just pass the controller back and forth. I foresee some really hilarious and fun tactical situations with this game. It just looks like such a good time. Check out the extended gameplay I've put down in the description below. So check out Lemnus Gate for a really unique take on a first person shooter. August 13 sees Hades finally coming to Xbox consoles from Supergiant Games. It's another game that really, there's nothing that needs to be said about this game that hasn't been already. But if you don't know by now, you play as Zagreus, the son of Hades. And in this roguelite, you repeatedly try and escape hell itself. Each time you die, new conversations will occur with the gods and demigods. And there is just a ridiculous amount of story content here, especially for a roguelite title. It's won award after award and for good reason, with its sublime art style, incredibly fun combat, great and expansive story, and a thrilling soundtrack from Darren Korb. I can't wait to get my hands on Hades on Xbox consoles on Game Pass day one, August 13. Less than a week after Hades releases, on August 19th is 12 minutes from developer Luis Antonio and published by Annapurna Interactive. We've seen so much of this game, but at the same time, like actually so little. And this star-studded lineup of Daisy Ridley, James McAvoy and Willem Dafoe are bringing you a time-looping game where you have to experience the same 12 minutes over and over to try and escape the loop and save your wife. Apparently the theme for this month of Game Pass is time loops, which is crazy to me. But 12 minutes looks really interesting. It's a top-down narrative where you're just inside this one apartment and you're just experiencing the same thing over and over, learning from the past and trying to change the results in the future. And I can't wait to see how the story progresses because so far we kind of know the premise of the game, but we don't know where that's going to go. And I cannot wait to play this game. It's going to be really cool and it's coming out in just over a month's time. Finally, to wrap up August is Psychonauts 2 from Double Fine Productions and published by Xbox Game Studios. Finally getting its release date after being successfully crowdfunded on FIG and then the studio being purchased by Microsoft, it appears that Psychonauts 2 has been expanded on in a big way with a bigger budget to really deliver the developer's vision. Headed up by industry legend and icon Tim Schafer, and the follow-up to the classic OG Xbox platformer from so many years ago, Psychonauts 2 really looks like an incredible game and such a great addition to the already diverse lineup of Xbox Game Studios first-party titles that are coming in the next few years. Releasing on all platforms, but will obviously be day one on Game Pass on August 25, get your hands on Psychonauts 2 and experience this wild world. And that's it for our list this week. What a lineup of games coming day one on Game Pass. The whole Play Day One initiative is really getting kicked off now and it's super exciting as a subscriber to the service. What game are you most excited about playing here? I think for me, uh, it's actually Lemnus Gate. This game looks really, really cool. It's made by an interesting studio from Canada and I just can't wait to see what they do with this time looping 25 second turn based shooter. It's such an interesting premise for a title and the ability to play at couch co-op, I think it's just like opens up so many options for having a great time with your mates. But let me know the game you're most excited about in the comments below. Is it Hades? Is it 12 minutes? Let me know down below. And if you have any ideas for more lists about Game Pass on the channel, please hit me up in the comments below as well. And like I said at the start of the video, if you enjoy what we do here, I would love for you to hit the like and subscribe buttons and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.